Healthlands Fairground is getting ready for hundreds of people to come on to it, and that means checking and double checking all of their equipment for the upcoming fair. Emily Harrison was at the fairgrounds today, and Emily, what are they doing to help keep everyone safe? Even though they want everyone to have a great time at the fair, safety is still their number one priority. As you can see, they're still setting up behind me, making sure everything's in place before they can finally open up the gates. We pass with flying colors there. We're going to pass with flying colors here. And you don't have to worry about coming out to this fair and having a great time because we're going to make sure that not only are you going to have a great time, but you're going to be safe. From California to New Mexico to here in the Hub City, Ride Offer Shows has been on the road for over a hundred years and say the reason they're still in business is because of their emphasis on safety. I have employees that have been with me for 40 and 50 years. You have to have experienced employees. A lot of these rides are very technical and you've got to have very well trained people to be able to set them up tear them down and maintain them. Richard Wrightoffer is the president of this family owned carnival and he says in the five generations his family has been in charge, he can't remember a time where there's been an accident involving a guest. But should it ever happen, they're more than ready. There's a safety procedure for every one of these rides to make sure that we don't have any kind of issues. People ask me, well, what happens if somebody on top of the Ferris wheel gets stuck? I said, listen, it's a wheel. You take somebody off the bottom of it and you push it and the wheel comes down from the top to the bottom. And even on the ground, there's plenty of eyes to make sure nothing goes wrong. First and foremost, we do have the Lubbock Police Department booked out here. We have about um, 30 LPD officers that are here always walking in sight. You know, um, if they see anything alarming, they'll stop it. If anybody needs anything, they're always available. But even with all the security, should someone get hurt, help will be on the way. There is first aid. We've had them out here for years. They'll do anything from a headache to a band-aid to call an ambulance if need be. Emily Harrison, KLBK News. All right, thanks, Emily.